NHD Production Live here with Christine Cook, filmmaker of Spirit of the Bluebird. How are you feeling right now with Tiff right here? Oh, I feel pretty excited to be here, pretty honored to have been selected to come. Wonderful. And this is your first Tiff? Yes, absolutely. First time. A little bit overwhelmed? Yeah, it's like there's so many things going on and there's just all these people buzzing around. It's quite amazing. The whole city gets into it. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about your film? Uh, the film is an animated tribute to a woman that was murdered in my back alleyway 11 years, 12 years ago, and I wanted to put a mural there for her, and I wanted a connection with the family and a connection with an uh, Aboriginal artist. So that took 11 years to get that connection to happen, but it finally happened last summer, and we thought, well, instead of just a mural, let's do an animated uh, piece so that it can go out in the world. So Jesse Coche is my co-partner, and he's, uh, he was the animator. So he's actually animating with spray paint on a fence. So very large scale, frame by frame animation. And it's a really beautiful uh, landscape scene with birds and animals moving around in it. And then the day that we did the unveiling of the mural, then we invited Gloria Blackplume's family to come and speak to us. And they, we recorded them and that became the soundtrack of the piece. So we're really, really happy and the family is quite proud of what we've done. So we're, we're just thrilled to have been chosen to be shown at TIFF. That's amazing. So they were very happy when they saw it. They had a good reaction. Yeah, like we went through a few edits and they, they became so they were very proud of it. And we're actually bringing Gloria's daughter Kaylee Bird here to be part of uh, the screening and she's never even flown in a plane before so she's really nervous. Wow. <laughs> but we're just, without her we couldn't have made the film we did. Like just the involvement of herself and her family members was a really important part of it. That's wonderful taking a devastating event and then turning it into art. I think it's a very powerful way to do something. Yeah, well, you have to believe that art can change the world, and you don't always understand how it goes out and changes things, but we, um, we know that just honoring her memory and also her murder went, was never, um, her murderers were known, but they didn't get punished. So even that, the family felt very shafted by the justice system, and so even that a total stranger would do something for their mother and grandmother, they were really quite touched that we would do that. And when and where is the film screening at TIFF? It's screening as part of Program 5 of the Shortcuts Canada. So that's at the Art Gallery of Ontario. It's on the 13th at 7.30 p.m. and the 14th at 2.30 p.m. Wonderful. And do you have any upcoming projects that you wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah. We're always working on something. Jesse and I are working on another animated piece about uh, the warrior's lost role in culture. And it's going to be an animated piece similar to Spirit of the Bluebird, but we're going to bring in live action and rotoscoping and different animation techniques so that it kind of has a multi-layered uh, technique. But, but we've already, he's painting right now, actually. That's why he's not here. <laughs> he's spray painting on a building at home in Calgary right now. Okay, wonderful. And do you have a website where we can look out for your upcoming projects? Uh, animatedobjects.ca. That's where our stuff is. Well, thank you so much, Christine, and best of luck at TIFF. Oh, thanks so much. Thank it's you. an honor to be here. Thank you. Great. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live. <laughs>